Hey guys, this is Dr. Adam. Today on Bully Blogs, I want to talk about eye issues and bulldogs, which is bulldog owners, we all know, are common things. But the most important underlying part here is getting an appropriate diagnosis. I can't tell you how often I see bulldogs that come to me on eye drops or a whole baggie of eye meds, and they don't know what the issue is. It's just they're masking it. Secondary infections, irritation, they're just giving drops and drops, but there's no name for what's causing all the irritation. So today I want to go over the four most common issues we see in bulldog's eyes. Number one is what we call a cherry eye, or a prolapsed gland of the third eyelid. So bulldogs and all dogs have a third eyelid. It kind of sits covering the inside of their eye. There's a little gland that sits down in there. Well, all too often that gland can prolapse out, and you'll see a big red cherry on the inside of their eye. Now, this isn't life-threatening. This is something they could probably live the rest of their life with. It's just ultimately it's burdensome and it's a great source for secondary infection. So a bunch of goobers and crud in, this, in the corner of their eye. So with these, typically these are surgical fix. And the gold standard for this would be a surgical technique where we tack that third eyelid down, preserving the gland deep in there. The other uh, solution would be to just remove it, in which case uh, there's pros and cons with that as well. Second common issue we see in bulldogs is what we call dystichia. Dystichia are tiny little hairs that rather than grow out like a normal eyelash, grow in towards the eyeball and just chafe against the eye, creating a chronic source of irritation. Third issue we see is what we call KCS or dry eye. That stands for keratoconjunctivitis sicca, which more or less means the eyelids have stopped producing tears. And if you don't have tears, it's a great source for bacteria and other uh, irritants to move in and be a chronic source of irritation. So with KCS, we diagnose that with what's called a shimmer tear test to see if they're producing adequate tears. And if we diagnose it, unfortunately, it's a lifelong management to do that. So typically with those, we want to start with some type of medication, either Optimune or what we call Tacrolimus, that will help stimulate tear production. We want to get some artificial tears where you more or less are the tears moving forward to help lubricate that eye. And then in cases where there gets the secondary irritation, something like an antibiotic or an anti-inflammatory to help with that. But these are manageable and these can be rewarding, especially those chronic cases we see where the eye is kind of scarred black and they're just red and goopy. Those are ones rather than throw more meds on, let's take a step back and get a diagnosis. And a lot of times those are, are KCS cases. And then the last one we see is entropion. And entropion is where the eyelid actually rolls in and those haired portions of the eyelid actually rub against the eye and again, create a chronic source of irritation. This again is a surgical fix. Um, so out of the four issues, the KCS, that's the only one that we're probably gonna medically manage, but the dystichia, the entropion, and the cherry eye, those are all surgical fixes. So again, go back to you have a bulldog with chronic eye issues or redness or goobers, get an appropriate diagnosis. You should be able to say, my dog has X and make an informative decision on what you're gonna do moving forward. But don't commit to just antibiotics after antibiotics after antibiotics. You're just gonna end up wasting a lot of money and you may create some irreversible issues with those eyes. So. Hopefully this helps out, guys. Uh, until the next Bully Blog, take care.